Welcome back to Tequila Tales. Today I'm doing something very different. I'm not tasting tequila, I'm not reviewing any tequila, but what I'm gonna do for all you collectors out there is I'm gonna show you my favorite tequila bottles that I have here in the house. I'm gonna do this from time to time. Uh, the prettiest looking tequilas, the ones that look best on the shelf, the ones that just look cool and awesome. So stay tuned after the break. You're gonna get all my takes. If you like pretty bottles, this episode is for you. <laughs> mentioned today in Tequila Tales, we are talking about the prettiest tequila bottles, the best looking tequila bottles. Looking over my shoulder, you can see I've got quite a few tequilas here. There's a lot down here. There's a lot in my office, as you saw earlier. I've got tequila everywhere, uh, pretty big collection. Um, I like to put the ones on display that I know are the best, that real tequila connoisseur, and I've got a few friends that are, um, would know about, right, when they walk in the house, right? So you've got the whole display of the Tequila Ocho right there, Cascanes, Resol, um, Don Julio Real, an old school classic that, you know, I don't know if you can see all this or whatever, but they're, they're around, all right? However, the ones that people that don't drink tequila see are the cool bottles. So if you wanna stock your shelves with something that looks cool or just looks nice or you like it for your own good, go ahead and t check out some of these bottles. So I'm not doing any tasting today, all right, on Tequila Tales. And please subscribe if you haven't already. A lot of reviews out there. Most people know me as a guy who drinks and reviews high-end tequila, but that's changing soon. No, no, no. I'm going to keep drinking high-end tequila, but I'm also going to review some really, really, really bad stuff. I just got back from Total Wine. I've got a collection of stuff that I don't even know if I want to sample, but I'm going to do it. It's all for the tube, you know? Anyways, let's get into the tequila bottles that you should be buying if you want to look good on a shelf or just impress someone or give a cool gift to a tequila connoisseur that maybe has a collection and wants to increase the bottle count and, you know, what have you, right? It, look, if it looks cool, it must be good, right? Eh, wrong. The main thing that people do is buy these pretty bottles and they don't know that the juice inside is good or bad. Most of the time, it's bad. There are a few exceptions. is in every single spirit, every single category of life. But right now, I'm just talking about some cool bottles. So let's just get right into it, right? No tasting, again, no judging. I don't want people commenting below saying, oh, the tequila's crap. You actually go ahead, I don't care, comment. I really don't care. I'll respond to you, I'll laugh, I'll, I'll you know, whatever. I encourage it, seriously. <laughs> okay, Calavera, this is a Reposado. Calavera means skull. Very, very, very cool bottle. I've had this one for a very long time. I remember opening it and drinking it. I can't tell you if it's any good. But Calavera, very cool one. Yeah, let's look at this lot. 2014. I've had this juice for quite a while, you guys. You know? The next one we'll get into right here. And this one I saw on a street corner in Mexico, actually in Playa del Carmen. This one is right here is called Tequila Riqueza Cultural Anejo. I had to have this bad boy the minute I saw him. I got a thing for sombreros. This guy just looks like he's, you know, ready to go down and, and party. He's got a guitar right there. And then the, I mean, look, rock star should be drinking this. Look at this, you got this very distinguished gentleman here with the mustache and sombrero. And then he's got a guitar. I mean, this guy right here could be a mariachi. Cool bottle, very cool bottle. Riqueza Cultural, this is an Anejo. Now, if you see behind me, you see that I've got a skull there too. I'm really into skulls and, and cows and cattle. I eat a lot of steak, I love it. This is a cool one too. If you find yourself in that category right here, Azulejos, which has a reputation of making some of the coolest bottles in the industry, makes this one right here. This one is called the Trophy Head Anejo Tequila. Again, don't know if it's any good, but the bottle is absolutely fire. Azulejos Trophy Head. Another one, very controversial. You're gonna see people drinking this in the club. Not this exact expression, but this is right here, Clase Azul Mezcal. One of the cooler bottles, just a classic black, matte black, like ceramic bottle, handmade. You can see the top on there. It's just, everything is detailed. You've seen the white and blue, you've seen it. I refuse to have it here. I probably have to review it someday, but ugh, it's just such a touchy subject with me that Clase Azul Reposado, it's candy, it's candy. Cool bottles though, right? No disrespect to the juice inside. I know it's not my favorite, but the bottles are absolutely fire. Classe Azul Mezcal. Not cheap either, Classe Azul, that product. All right, going back to Azulejos, which I said earlier had some very cool bottles right here. This is the Renejo. Very cool. It's in the Masterpiece Collection, they call it. That's a nice looking piece right there. Just classic, timeless. 
What else we got here? You want something that just smells like luxury? I mean, this might not look like, you know, a cool bottle per se right off the bat, but this thing right here is one of the most luxurious bottles you'll see. This is a Pasote Extra Nejo. I'll be opening that up very, very soon. In fact, I'm gonna take such good care of it, I'm gonna move it away. We're gonna need my next one right here. This is a Reposado from Doña Celia. Tita, Doña Celia. I remember writing a review for tequilareviews.com, which if you haven't checked out, please check that out and subscribe to that as well. Doña Celia, very cool, right? Very cool bottle as well. And these guys right here, these are classics. You've probably seen these. If you watch Lou Agave, who you should be watching, he's got these in the background. I mean, absolute fire, right? Skelly. These are also made by Azulejo. So you see that they are the leaders in making cool bottles. This is the Blanco. It's clear, very cool piece. Also right here, you've got another one here. This is the Renejo. Now this comes with a lot of different hats. I've had other ones that are different. I've had one that's a bandana, like a pirate. This one right here is a sombrero, just a classic, classic tequila bottle. Moving on, you've got Ka Tequila, which makes this line of skulls. Also very, very unique. Pretty cool product in itself. One of my all-time favorites right here is this one. We opened this bad boy a couple years ago because my friend Bo said he'd never drank tequila out of a bowl, a glass bowl. Well, I hadn't either. So we opened it up and we accidentally broke one of his legs. So that's floating around the house somewhere here. But we took shots of this very, very cool piece. This is called Institucional Tequila Reposado Mad Bull is the brand. Institucional Mad Bull. Very, very cool piece right here. This is one of my favorite ones that I've had, even though he is missing a leg, I really don't care. I think it's an awesome piece. People always comment on this one. I'm, I'm not in love with it. I think it's just different. It'll definitely stand on your shelf. This is by Loquaz, Loquaz Tequila. Couple more for you here. This is Amor Mio. Just another fantastic one, produced and bottled by Tequila Trace Mujeres. Awesome bottle. Another one here by Azulejos. Just a very cool ceramic looking product. And perhaps last, but certainly not least, right here, Tejano. Tequila Institucional Tejano. Yes, my friends, this is a boot. I would not want to get kicked in the face with this thing, especially when it's full of juice. You get two shot glasses with it. This has never been opened. Again, I've been carrying this one around for, for a few years as well. So it's definitely, uh, moved from a couple of houses. Um, other than that, those are the coolest bottles. I gotta say, I'm a classic bottle person. This is a very cool one by Don Cosme, a very generous company out of Atlanta that makes this. This is pretty cool stuff. Just real cool animated, the cat on it. Um, but again, I'm a classic man. If I'm drinking tequila, I want a classic look and feel. And to me, the ones that scream that right here, you're not getting a lot of attention and eyes on this, but this is a great juice right here. Tears of Yorona, of course, classic tequilas. So again, don't be fooled by the bottles. Don't be fooled, fooled by the gimmicks. You see this all over Fort Lauderdale, not a fan. <sighs> Guys, it's all about the juice. If you want things to look cool on your shelf, I just gave you a bunch of ideas and I probably have one or two more for you here. Um, Oh yeah, there's just a, it's, it's never ending. I'm gonna have to do another video review because I've just got run out of space and time. But that's it, cool tequila bottles you can put on your shelf. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll be sipping again. Subscribe, pass it on to your friends. Comment below, did I miss any bottles? Are there ones I should be buying? I know there's Casino Azul has some good ones. The Jaguar, I finished it. Did not keep the gold Jaguar. I should have, it looked absolute fire back there. We'll talk about it. Comment below, thanks for watching Tequila Tales.